Hey everyone! This week in news, Julia Moran talked to a Carlton prof who discovered a fungus that can kill the spruce budworm. And Naomi LeBrock talked to a student who says the Center for Student Academic Support takes up too much space in the library. All that and more, this week in news. This week in National, many universities are still deciding whether to have a fall reading break. Madison Ranto has the details. And Sam Lee reported on a recent poll that found many millennials aren't as proud of Canada as older generations are. All that and more, this week in National. Hey Ravens, this week in sports we have plenty of Colonel by Classic coverage. Daniel Bertuzzi recaps the game, while Dan Robertson features the rivalry between the GGs and the Ravens on the ice. All that and more, this week in sports. Hey everyone, this week in arts, Megan Richens talked to the music program's artist in residence, and Matt Yui Tung interviewed Tokyo Police Club. Also, Rebecca Hardman checked out Geek Market. All that and more this week in arts. This week in features, Emily Humber looked into what mental health first aid is and who is trained on campus, and Chantelle Backus wrote about the five steps to responding to a mental health emergency. All that and more this week in features. This week in Offed, Caitlin Salvino says students need to provide feedback on Carlton's draft sexual violence policy. And Caitlin Hart reviews all the Halloween beers for this season. All that and more this week in Offed. This week in Multimedia, we find out whether Carlton students judge others on their music taste in a streeter. And we've got video coverage of Otto's Geek Market. All that and more this week in The Charlatan.